Hello, Joette. Will Sullivan here with Sullivan Auto Trading, and I am going to be giving you a walk around on this 2009 Honda Odyssey EXL Handicap Van Conversion. Um, I'm going to start from the point of the vehicle or the front of the vehicle and touch on everything that uh, there is and then move in on to how the handicap ramps work, how you power them, etc. Starting from the front of the vehicle, uh, looking at the hood. Now we are, we are under uh, very high intense uh, LED lighting um, that shows just about everything, any type of scratches or imperfections uh, and dents, they, they kind of pop out. And I wanted to bring it inside here where we shoot our photos uh, just to give you more of a cleaner uh, presentation on the vehicle, uh, something that you could stop, pause, look at, uh, rather than being outside and having to fight the shadows and so forth. So looking at the hood, hood is in very good condition. Um, windshield is in very good condition as well. I don't see any, any small cracks, any rock chips, anything like that. Uh, moving down to the headlight housings. Headlight housings to be in good, good condition. Uh, they're not fogged up or hazed. You can still clearly see through them. Uh, front bumper is in very good condition. You can see this front portion of this grill. I'll just kind of pan through this. The chrome piece right here is in good condition too. Um, the reason I point that out is because we see this flake bubble, uh, do all kinds of weird stuff uh, from time to time, but that doesn't show any signs of it. Uh, typically that happens in, in areas too where they get a lot of salt water, a lot of abrasives on the road, stuff like that. Um, this was a southern vehicle, so you're not going to deal with any of the rust underneath or any of the remnants outside either. Chin spoiler um, looks to be in good condition. Uh, lower part of the grill looks to be in very good condition. I don't see any damage anywhere. Uh, moving on to the driver side fender. Uh, driver side fender is good. I don't see any signs of any previous paintwork, any scratches or dents. Uh, the tires. I kind of stick my finger in here. They have extremely good tread on it. Um, I believe that they're probably brand new tires. They appear to be. Uh, the wheel is very clean as well. No oxidation, no spider webbing in the clear, um, no scrapes. Uh, very, very clean. Um, the company that made this, I believe that's their badge. That is the only thing that I see that's really worn on it. I can't really make out what it says. Um, the driver's door is in good condition. No scratches or dents that I can see at all. Um, the side mirror housing also looks very clean. No scratches there. We're going to do the ex entire exterior and then go inside the vehicle. And I'm going to pan through this while I talk so you can kind of just get a view. No scratches or dents on, on this side. Actually, here towards the bottom, I see one small scratch right there. It actually appears way worse on this camera than it does to the naked eye. It almost disappears when you step back. Also a light scratch there. Uh, driver's side quarter panel, very good condition. No scrapes or scratches. Uh, brand new tires in the rear, clean wheel. Uh, to give you somewhat of a view inside, you can see this is a rust-free vehicle. You're not gonna deal uh, with anything like that. What you're seeing right here is just, uh, that's actually paint where they spray the insides of the fender wells uh, when they're done detailing them. It gives them a nice clean touch. Rear bumper's in good condition. Slight scratch right there. Um, again, appears worse on the camera than it does in person. Uh, and a little bit of a smudge right there. That actually might even be wax. Rear bumper's in good condition. Rear glass and rear spoiler, very good condition. Um, and then just the back's in good condition. There's a little bit of wax right there. That's wax. Here's another badge from the makers of the handicap van. So it looks like the company is VMI, I'm assuming. Um, this one's not as faded as the other one, but I'm assuming that's what, it, what that is. Passenger side quarter panel, very clean. Passenger side rear wheel, very clean. the passenger side rear door and passenger side door. Oh look, excellent really. Slight fading. Well, that, what you see here is this is 
picks up a lot of the road debris um, that it comes along here when driving. This is not a factory piece, so it sits lower. When they originally engineered that vehicle, they didn't engineer a piece to be there. So it's almost in the placement of where a mud flap would be. So it's gonna take some of the road abrasion, but it still looks really clean as you back up here. The exterior of this van is, for an 09, um, I have zero complaints. I think you'll be very pleased with it. Um, I'm gonna start back around to the driver's side open up the door and just hit on some of the condition of the carpets. Oh, something I did see opening the door. Looks like uh, we have a little bit of a rip weather strip here. I don't know if there's any remedy for that other than just to cut that off. Um, it shouldn't affect anything though. All right, so um, you're, this is an 09, mind you, um, and it has a very light colored interior. What stands out to me is as light as this interior color is, it is extremely clean. Um, carpets are very clean. You can see where the modification was done. This, what they have to do, because they drop down the lower, the back portion of this, um, they have to almost build these seats up. So you can see they did a really good job on this. It's a very clean and finished look. It doesn't look like a, what you're seeing here, this plastic here is just uh, the cellophane wrap that probably just needs to be cut out. That was actually wrapped over top of this carpet. Um, but yeah, looks really, really good. Here are your door controls. Um, this does have audio, uh, uh, all your mounts for your stereo right on the steering wheel. You can see the condition of the buttons, uh, shifter. All are very clear. I mean, honestly, if you told me this was an 09, I have a hard time believing how clean the inside of this, even the, the paneling. I mean, there's no fingernail scratches or anything on this. Uh, sometimes we see some bubbling and fading in this uh, in this panel here, and you're just not seeing that. Um, no smudges, does have heated seats. Now you and I had talked about a pass-through and how important that was to you because this does sit up like this in this lock position and your chair would be right here in the back um, strapped down by these and you would wanna pass through up to the front. And the way that you would do that, if I can get out far enough, there's a lever actually right there. I don't know if I can get in there so you can see it or not but it's located right here. I don't know if they came up with the camera or not. You just pull that, that drops down. And then, like I said, I'm 5'10", 5'10 and a half, and I can pass through from the driver's seat to the back without a problem. And you should, you'll should, you be able to do that from the rear to the front without a problem. Go ahead and unlock the door. They are power doors and they work very, very good. And here is the back. So chair would go in here. Ramp is actually on the other side. We'll go over that here in a second. Uh, but this is the, the chair space. So they did a really good job on this install and uh, you know just modifying this van. I, like I said, I don't specialize in these. I don't see a lot, but I do know good work when I see it. Um, and this is, just, this is just done really well. These appear to be adjustable, of course. Um, and then they anchor down to this rail system. And then these rear seats back here. I doubt those have ever been sat in. <laughs> At least they appear that way. Headliners in very good condition and this uh, this van is equipped with the sunroof. I'm gonna go ahead and start the van, but I believe you do need that to operate the ramps. I'm gonna go ahead and press this button so I can give you a view of the back too. All right, in the back here, you'll find the belts um, and some of the tool kits and instruction manuals uh, for the uh, tie down system that is uh, for the chair. Look at the condition of these seat backs. We just, the, the van, I mean, I have no other words, but just impressive uh, through and through condition wise. And then just another shot here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to see if I can position my phone here somehow to maybe capture this so I can prop it up. Try to 
I'll show you. I don't know if, if it'll come through that clean, but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to walk from the back here. to this area. Here is where the ramp is stored and where, where it will come out. And I'm gonna show you now how to operate that ramp. I'm actually coming up on the amount of time that I have on this video. I'm going to close this and then do a separate video on the operation of the ramp.